So here's the next practice from Zbukvik's book, and this chapter is from Achieving Mood Using the Watercolor Clock. So I'm going to start by pulling down a grayed down wash, and I'm a little on the cooler side with a little more blue, and then I'll add some extra orange to warm some parts up as I get towards the railing there, or the top of the bridge, I should say. This is a half sheet, and I'm on about 30 degree angle to help pull down this wash. Lots of water. And I'll skip a couple of little holes and keep my bridge open where the pavement is. And I'm going to pull down all of this area. And once I get to the water, I'm going to start switching over back to a more bluer mixture and some more warm on the side where the bridge is for the underpainting. So while it's still wet, I'm going to start adding in my yellows where that big tree is at, and dashing in some oranges and browns and spritzing it. Just trying to get some interesting mix going on here. And then I'll just kind of dab off where it is flaring out too much. And I'm just going to kind of slice into here with some sort of brown mix with the orange and blue and start creating my water. So uh, my drawing, I'm drawing a little too quickly here and I'm getting hard edges, so I'll just come in and re-wet this area. Keep adding more texture to my tree. I put a few little scrapes in there for some branches. And I just want everything to be all nice and wet and juicy and flowing right now. So now let me get a try for these uh, little waves in the water again now that everything's wet. And I'll make them bigger as they get closer to me. So now it's time to start pulling the mid-tones across. So I mixed up a thicker batch of that purpley blue that's been grayed down, and I'm still skipping little holes to break it up a little bit and adding some more darks, and spritzing it. I want lots of texture in here. And the center area, I'm just going to sort of blot away so that it looks a little bit faded and foggy in there. And this mid-tone wash I'm pulling just across the page since I'm right-handed. I go from left to right. And I want these shapes to be a bit loose and wiggly, not too tight. And I keep adjusting my values here because I want the objects or the shapes on the sides to be a little bit darker in value and then that little center area to push back so it's really light. And carve around the tree to shape it a little bit better. some nice juicy darks in there. So now when I start putting in the back part of the bridge, I want to have a little bit of suggestion of detail there, so I skip around. There's different levels of these walls, so I have the warmer one a little bit closer to me.
And then with my smaller detailed brush, I put in all the little cars and people over here on the sides. And I skip around where the highlights are at so that you can see the different objects or definition from the different cars and people. So on the bridge, I've got some areas that are a little bit warmer on the top and then the cooler blue on the bottom. And I'm keeping the highlights open and I'm spritzing it for texture and then I will start dropping in some of the really dark darks. And I want this all to be kind of soft and mushy, so I'm doing all of the architectural details while it's wet. And I'll make those little wave shapes at the bottom. And now I'll pull in the really dark darks for the details. Splatter some blue on there. So I'll just keep pulling this water across from side to side, or the reflection, I should say. And here I definitely pulled it down too far. So that was an oops. It's okay here. I'm just trying to blot it off as much as I can so it's a little shorter and well. Now I got a dark spot in, my, spot in my water and that's okay. I'll just try to make it look like it's part of the water. And then just have that darker bit at the bottom. So here I'm painting the people and also pulling in the darks around them so that uh, they are silhouetted, or not silhouetted, but carved out a little bit better. Now that guy's got a little suit and tie on.
Then the last thing, I'm going to put that gondola boat guy here in the water. And that is some straight cadmium. I'll add some blues to darken it. And he'll go on a little bit opaque on top of the water here. I have some white gouache to add to it. And then don't forget to give that guy a bit of a reflection too. And just make sure you keep him very, very tiny. And here I'm just going to add a little bit more um, warm tones into this foreground area where the boat's reflecting. And a bunch of tiny little birds. And then that's it for this one.